Hello, I'm Master Kittel. Welcome to the Cycling Day. What happens when you put two iconic brands of Italy together to make a bike? You get this thing. The SF01. The world got a good look at the cooperative work of the car manufacturer Ferrari and the oldest bike brand in the world to see this super expensive $18,000 bike. And yes, you heard me, that is $18,000. But for better reference, if you live in Europe, that is 15,000 euros. And if you live in my neck of the woods in the UK, that is 13,500 of the Queen's money. So with all that money, you expect me to say this is the lightest bike in the world. Well, maybe five years ago that might have been the case, but we've come a long way in five years and have reached crazy standards in 2022. The frame comes in with an impressive 780 grams. Now, not bad by today's standards, but with the Athos being nearly 200 grams lighter and almost going to be very cost effective than this bike, you probably didn't want to fork out £18,000 certainly for this despite today's standards with weight as well. But you have to give it to the not bad attempt either way with the carbon fiber material they have. Of course, speaking of the carbon fiber material, the selling point they do with this is that they engineer the carbon fiber material made by countervails to cancel out 80% of vibrations to maximize power output and control. Now that might sound good, but until you can put this in the cobbles of Pyrube, I think it's all talk. Ah yes, of course, I know you disc brake zealots are waiting for me to talk about the brake systems in this because I can tell you're very triggered by the look of the way this bike is as it's very old fashioned with its exposed rim brakes that makes it not exactly aerodynamic. It does come with an outdated rim brakes on the seat stays and that is quite outdated indeed because you don't get that much these days in modern day bikes, especially for rim brakes as well as they're usually more on the chain stays to create more better aerodynamics in modern day bikes. Even now you can still find it difficult to find bikes like that even now. You'd be wrong to think that this full Italian made bike will have a Sella Italia made saddle on it. Well, yeah, you're definitely wrong. This one's a homemade one with the collaborative parties involved in making it. Coming in at 94 grams, 34 grams heavier than the lightest saddle ever made, that is a Sella Italia SLR C59 if you'd want to know, but yeah, it's not bad. And of course, the biggest point they like to make out is that this is made out of 3K carbon, which is the same material used in Ferrari cars. Ooh. That's impressive, isn't it? The reels are rather curious, as they have the Ferrari brand on them, which would show that Ferrari has the resources to make the wheels, and Bianchi obviously helped them shape them out to make it for a bike and not a car wheel. And finally, the wheel utilizes the Pirelli P0 clincher tires, making this bike as Italian as spaghetti bolognese. Not a single bike part is made out of Italy. Besides that, what would you do if you had $18,000? Would you buy this bike in 2022? Or would you rather buy something like the Athos? I know I would. Or the SL7 or the Canyon Aero? Questions, questions, and all can be answered in the comments. Don't forget to like and sub this channel, where we do quite a lot of extra content regarding cycling, but also do sub to our main channel where we focus more on the professional road racing side and other disciplines within cycling. And with that guys, that's it for me, and as always, have a nice day.